Ari's mom buys a pack of three t-shirts, one for him and his two brothers. How many t-shirts will each child get? There were no t-shirts at the store, and Ari's mom wants to give a t-shirt to each child. How many t-shirts would each child get? In this lesson, you will learn how to solve division problems by using the special properties of 0 and 1. Let's review. You already know that any number times 1 is itself, and any number times 0 is 0. You also know that division is the inverse of multiplication. Division is finding the unknown number of equal groups or the amount in each group. Division is the inverse of multiplication, and just like addition and subtraction, there are multiplication and division fact families with two multiplication equations and two division equations. The numbers 0 and 1 have their own special traits when dividing. Let's say we have the fact family 6, 1, and 6. We know that anything times 1 is itself. 1 times 6 equals 6. Or 6 times 1 equals 6. What happens when we divide? The number divided by 1 is also itself. 6 divided by 1 equals 6. The last fact that can be made from this family is to divide 6 by itself. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Any number divided by itself is 1. Let's see how this works with some eggs. If I have 6 eggs and I separate them into one group, that one group has 6 eggs in it. If I take the same six eggs and I separate them into six groups, each group has just one egg in it. Any number divided by one is itself. Any number divided by itself is one. Dividing by one follows the same rules as dividing by any other number. Zero does not. When we divide with zero, we can set up two equations. Let's take a look at this fact family. Here, zero is the dividend, or the number being divided. Anything we divide it by, or any divisor, will result in us still having an answer or quotient of zero. For example, I have no baseball cards. I have six friends who each want a baseball card. When I take my zero baseball cards and divide them by six, each friend will still get zero baseball cards. Zero divided by any number will give you an answer of zero. Now, here's where it gets tricky. What if zero is our divisor, as in nine divided by zero? If we have nine peaches and we divide them into zero groups, well, we perform magic because we have made those nine peaches disappear. Since mathematicians are very powerful but still cannot perform magic, you cannot divide by zero to get an answer either. It's impossible to divide by zero. The answer is undefined. Don't believe me yet? Think about it this way. Division is the inverse of multiplication. Therefore, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and the inverse would be 3 times 4 equals 12. If we had a question like 4 divided by 0, whatever the answer was, we should be able to do the opposite uh, operation and get 4 as an answer. Whatever number times 0 should equal 4, but we know that any number times 0 is 0. So we couldn't get an answer of 4, which means something doesn't work here, which is why dividing by zero is impossible or undefined. If you had three brothers and you divided each into zero rooms, hmm, don't try this at home. A common mistake is to mix up zero divided by number and a number divided by zero. Order matters when we divide. You can take zero objects and split them into groups and still have zero, but you cannot take a number of objects and split them into zero groups. It's simply impossible. Any number divided by zero is undefined. Let's take a look at our original questions. Ari's mom buys a pack of three t-shirts, one for him and his two brothers. How many t-shirts will each child get? Well, this is asking, what is three divided by three? We know that any number divided by itself is 1. The answer is each child will get one shirt. There were no t-shirts at the store, and Ari's mom wants to give a t-shirt to each child. How many t-shirts would each child get? Well, this is telling us that we have 0, and we need to split it into three groups. 0 divided by 3 is 0. Each child would still get 0 shirts.
In this lesson, you have learned how to solve division problems by using the special properties of 0 and 1.